In this video, we are going to show an end-to-end -end demo between Workday and JSM or Jira. Specifically, the use case being onboarding an employee. With Workday, you can have the option of choosing Workday recruiting where candidates are hired and onwards application support pulling new hires from Workday recruiting and then pushing data back into Workday core HR as well. Obviously, when using Workday, you have multiple options as an organization using Workday. You may choose to use Workday recruiting or in another pattern here, if I show where organizations use an external ATS system, for example, Greenhouse, and being able to pull data from Greenhouse whenever a candidate accepts a hire, and pushing data back into Workday as well. Now I'm gonna show a demo of this particular pattern. Again, the point being that any Workday customer has several different options and patterns in terms of when and how their employee onboarding is kicked off. So let's dive into a demo where I will show pulling a new candidate who just accepted a job in the greenhouse ATS system, how it, the data is pulled into Jira or JSM, and data pushed back into Workday automatically as a pre-hire. Let me dive into it. This is our demo instance of Greenhouse, the applicant tracking system. Here we have a couple of candidates who've accepted their jobs, Sarah Richards and Caesar. Let me now go to on ramp where I've already set up a flow with Greenhouse as a trigger so that we can pull in all the new candidates who recently accepted jobs. As part of the flow, one of the steps is to create the pre-hire in Workday as well. So we pull the data from Greenhouse and then push that candidate as a pre-hire into Workday. So let's run this. and I'll go and search on my filter here. And there are a couple of new instances that got created. So Sarah's record here will show the worker ID, first name, last name, email address. These are all the fields that were pulled from Greenhouse. Now, if I move this to in progress, this is what will create the list of all the tasks that we previously defined in the flow. So let me do a quick refresh. As you can see here, all the tasks that were defined within the flow got created. And one of them is this particular task, which is to create the new hire in Workday. What we will do is, since this is a post function, I will again move this to in progress. That is when the post function gets triggered to create that pre-hire into Workday. And you can see that it was a success, on work status is success. And the worker ID is now the pre-hire worker ID that got created in Workday. <laughs> Let me now take this pre-hire ID that OnLink just created in Workday go to a workday tenant, search for that. You'll see that Sarah Richards uh, applicant ID is now available in Workday. I can click on that. I can see my email address has already been created. This is an email that came from Greenhouse. And let me now edit this to include a phone number. So to edit this, I'll go to personal data, edit pre-hire contact information, add a phone number, I'll select home and uh, now this updated information in Workday can be pulled back into Jira using OnRamp. So here when I go to an updating flow, I can run this. And uh, once that triggers, let me go back here to my issue. 
this was the one that was previously created and if you see the phone number it just got updated to what I had just created in Workday. So in Workday I had created this 383 number that's the one that got updated in Jira as well. So this is how we can show the bi-directional integration between Workday and Jira uh, as well as orchestrating a complex business process with the applicant coming from Greenhouse and ATS system, pushing that data into Workday with that creation of new uh, pre-hire in Workday as well as pulling updates from Workday back into Jira.